Here are two popular functions in Excel for finding the highest and lowest values in a range, such as these scores that these students have got on an exam. Now, it's really easy to do. The function for the highest value is max, short for maximum, and the lowest one is min. So what I'm going to do is I'm going into my formulas ribbon up at the top here. I can then choose more functions. You may not have to choose more functions. You may already see statistical, and you can choose it from here. And if I scroll down, you'll find max. Now this works in the same way, whether it's on Windows or on a Mac. If I click on max, you'll see here on Windows, it pops up over here. But on the Mac, it comes up on the side, but it works in exactly the same way, including finding it on the ribbon as well. Number one is that first range that I want, and you can have more than one range. In fact, you can have up to 255 numbers or ranges. So I can easily just select this range here. Now you can see that it's bold here, number one, that means it has to be filled in, but number two isn't in bold, it doesn't have to be. But if I click here, you can see it then makes space for number three, four, and so on. Over here, it's showing me the answer. It's showing me that 95 is the highest value and I can click on OK and there it is right in there. And if I was to change that to say 80, that value there would no longer be the highest. You'll see it changes here. OK, let's just put that back to 95. And over here for the lowest, I can do the same again. This time it's min and I'm going to use the insert function here which again is the same on Windows and Mac. If I click on it, it comes up with the dialog box. It's gone to the statistical category because that's where I've just been. And I could scroll down and find min. Now for any function, I could also just type it in over here. I can type in min, I can press enter, or I can click on go and it will show me the function and all related functions to it as well, including minute, which happens to be an abbreviation of it. So I just need to click on OK. Now, rather than highlighting the range like this this time, what I'm going to do, let me just delete that, is I'm just going to click on the column B here. That's going to highlight the entire column. And you can see it looks a bit different here, B colon B. So it's going to select the whole range. So as long as you haven't got any data below this that's not relevant, you can use this. You can keep then adding data down here and it will automatically add it to this as well. And I could have done the same for the max function or any function where I'm selecting a range like this. And no, it doesn't include that title there that says score. So really useful way of being able to select either a column or a row. Let's just click on OK. And there it is. Let's just change that. Let's make that. Let's make another one here. Let's make this one 25 and you can see it automatically updates. And just to prove that it can uh, easily be updated, let's just add another one in here and let's make that one 21 and you can see it's automatically updated here. Now these grades that I've done here, you can use this with an if function. I've got another video for that. So if you are interested, there are two other functions and I've got a video for that and the link is below this video called large and small work very similarly to max and min except now you can actually find the second largest number or third or fourth and so on and the same for the smallest you can find the smallest the second smallest the third smallest and the fourth smallest and so on if you do like this please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching